This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to if you want to set up your own slick looking website or online store. And back here in the heart of my study slash playroom slash studio, which will look great once I've finished with it, but for now, it's a bit of a tip. Look, let me show you. Stuff, stuff everywhere. Got a table, so that's a good start. Got a surfboard, I think that's what it's for. And then I've got some stuff that I've been meaning to review since before the move, such as this. So let me do a brief hands-on first look before they release a new one. For those of you not familiar with Zcam, it's just gonna look like a metal cube with lots of drill holes in it. And that is essentially what it is. But this one is a little bit different in that it is full frame, oh yes. And also the fact that is, you might have noticed, it's M-mount, delicious. There is just something very cool about the cube shape of the Zcam E2. I mean, even Panasonic thought it was cool. They jumped on the bandwagon and made their own cube. But this version has sub-zero status because of the mount right here. Although this is a full frame E2 and it's a slightly bigger body, it still has some of the same problems that I didn't quite like with the Micro Four Thirds ones, like the flaps. They're so cheap. And in terms of slottage, we've only got one CF card slot right there. I guess one positive thing to say about these flaps is that they're slightly easier to open than the Micro Four Thirds version. On the other side, flappy bits, headphone and mic. But one thing I really love about the Zcams is the app. It's fantastic. And it's just as well that the app is pretty good because the screen on the camera itself is about the size of a postage stamp. Okay, so here we are filming on the Zcam E2 F6, M mount, I've got the app here. You can use it to change any setting that you really need to change when it comes to taking videos. You've got your shutter speed ISO up here, which you can change really easily. Live, top right, for people who want to take full frame live videos. You know, you might think it's overkill, but there will come a day sometime in the future when everybody will be live streaming with full frame cameras and they'll be wondering what the hell is a Micro Four Thirds camera? And I say Micro Four Thirds because the Zcam E2 was available with Micro Four Thirds before, but they went Super 35 and now they've gone full frame with the F6. The F stands for full frame, I guess, and the 6 stands for 6K because it shoots 6K video. I can't actually change the setting right now while recording video, but one thing I noticed when I changed the audio levels earlier is that you can set up separate gain for left and the right channel, so you can set up a safety channel. I know that makes it sound like a YouTube channel talking about hard hats and stuff like that. But yes, I have got this on Cinema 4K, 25 FPS, Rec 709. Rec 709 is pretty good on this. I mean, it's flat enough. It's not too saturated. Yeah, it's quite nice. Colors are nice. Skin colors look gorgeous. What's that? Oh, <laughs> it's got a beauty mode. Just to make this money maker even more profitable. No, let's get rid of that. Instagram, predator mode. Not many other cameras that will shoot ProRes straight out of camera, and this does. Annoyingly, most of this video is probably me looking down at my phone. I'm not checking Instagram, I'm checking focus. I'm a face, because I'll make sure it's in focus, because it's completely manual focus. M mount, there we are, I think that's about right. Well, just like his Micro Four Thirds siblings, it's very easy to make the video that comes out of this looking pretty sweet. The Micro Four Thirds versions didn't have too much rolling shutter effect, but this is a big, massive full frame sensor. So just what does it look like? Unfortunately, it does look a little bit wobbly there, doesn't it? Wobbly, wobbly jelly. It's far from being one of the worst offenders of jellydom, but you can see it when whipping your pan out. Okay, now we're filming on 6K on a 12 millimeter lens, ultra wide rectilinear on full frame. So this tiny little room, it's gonna look massive. This is exactly what I need for my new setup. And it looks, well, actually, no, hang on. Hmm, we've got some color casts on the corners there. Is there anything I can do about that? Ah, oh, never mind. Anyway, with the Micro Four Thirds E2s, I don't really think too much about the competition, but there are just so many fully featured options now when it comes to full frame cameras that take quite good video. And they've got in-body IS, clever face AF tracking. But when I looked at the files on the computer, I remembered exactly why I like the Z cameras, because the files are so attractive. All I did was slap a LUT on and that was it. Everything looks so pleasing to the eye with no tweaking. 
I mean, that's one thing the Z can gets completely bang on, and the dynamic range is good. I mean, they say it's got 15 stops of dynamic range, but everybody say they've got 15 stops of dynamic range these days. But you know, I don't doubt it, although you have to be extra careful when it comes to exposure, because if you underexpose and then you push your exposure, it's kind of prone to posterization. For low light, it's a dual native ISO sensor 400 and 2500, so 3200 shouldn't look much worse than 1600, it should look better. And it should look as good as ISO 400, but it does look clean right up to ISO 10,000, which is nice. Still, as good as the image is, is that really enough to tempt people not to buy any of the other sub $5,000 full frame cameras that take good video? Yes, it does shoot Z Raw internally and ProRes Raw externally to an Atomos recorder, but there are loads of cameras these days that shoot ProRes Raw externally. You have to ask yourself, do you want a conventional hybrid camera that shoots stills and videos? Or do you want a dedicated video camera? But in terms of dedicatedness, this is not like other cine cameras that offer built-in ND filter system and a fan. It does take a bit of time to start up like a cine camera though, although it's a little under 10 seconds. But finding those features in a body that's $4,000 is tough because it doesn't exist. At least, I don't think it does. I'm sure that despite the coolness of the cube, most people will opt for the conventional, but at this price, the image is really one of the best around in a workhorse body that has a brilliant app to boot. And hardly any lag on the wireless connection, about the same lag as a Nikon screen. This really could have been the best option for Leica and Mount Glass if it wasn't for, not Saturday Night Fever, the cyan corners. As it seems, it will look no different to any other full-frame mirrorless camera. But there are EFPO and Micro Four Thirds options for the E2F6. The EF and PO options benefit from having a slot in END filter system for between 1.7 to 6.7 stops of ND-ness. But if you don't want any filters in, you still have to remove it, which is a bit of a faff, isn't it? But as nice as it sounds, a Leica M-mount video camera, I think the EF and the PL mount versions are the way to go even if this looks way cooler. It's great that Zcam can make a full frame version of the E2. There really isn't anything like it on the market and I don't think anyone else would bother. Well, maybe Panasonic. As a tool for taking video, if you don't need the comfort of continuous focus, IBIS and all the fancy things that they chuck into mirrorless cameras, this is a fantastic full frame option. I just wish they'd change those flaps though. And there we have it, that is the Zcam. Thank you very much for watching as always. And as always, a quick shout out to Squarespace, the sponsor of this video. Why should you use Squarespace? Because they're pretty damn fantastic. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service. You can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. If you want to take up that offer and make your next move with Squarespace, then the link is in the description down below. Thanks. See ya. Goodbye.